Digu mtuana wabandu. Saugo nani? Mwolue ni kunjani? Hey. Uh, I'm Hamish, or you can call me mtuana wabandu. Let's get started, man. So, we have a question right here. So, this question say, uh, writing expression means if we take this expression and then we want to write in sigma notation so this format here like when you see this this you call it sum or sigma notation for the most case they call sigma notation sigma notation this notation is sigma notation so let me show you how to use sigma notation i'm going to touch a uh, links here where you can learn more easily and a more example of sigma notation but now let's go for this question so this question is very easy Sigma meaning sum means sum, sum, add it, add it, continue adding. So now, uh, so what I'm going to do me paste one because they give me a lot of options here. I'm going to take face option and test and see if it's going to give me this because there's two ways. Either you can move from here to there or here because you don't know it can be either of this question. Or you can move from here to here. The easy way here is to move from this option to there. So how are we going to do that? For example. Let me test for the third one. I know you can start with the face one, but I just let me start with the third one for a reason. Also, by in exam, you can start with the face one, second one, third one. I'm gonna go with this. So the bar of k, okay, k equal to three. You know what I'm saying? K equal to three. So that means, okay, let me write here. So this is our sum here, which is what? K equal to three, and then k equal to six, and then k plus two, and then over two, x equal to k. So I'm saying, yeah. Hard, man. We just okay. Excuse me, sorry, guy. So now we say when k equal to three, it means here we're gonna substitute the value of three. So I'm gonna say instead of k, I'll say three. It's gonna be three plus three equal to five. So this is say equal to five, but over two, over two. X, I don't know the value of x because here I say the value of k is gonna start from three to six. So this one equal to five over two. X, I don't know the value of x, I don't know. K. What is K? K we start with 3. Okay. This this one? Yes. So for the first one it seems like yes. But I will continue because it has to give us the whole value true. Now, what are we going to say plus? Plus. Now we increase the value of K because K starts from 3 to 6. Okay. If K equal to 4, we want to put, uh, because K equal to 3, K equal to 4, K equal to 5, to K equal to 6. That's the last number so k equal to 4 now because of 3 k equal to 4 because why do i sum because we say the meaning of this sigma notation is sum sum that's why i say for the first one is done and then we sum now when k equal to 4 it's going to be 4 plus 2 equal to 6 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 3 you know what i'm saying now we go you know what hold on let me start with the first one excuse me let me start with the first one Let me start for the first one. For the full, I think that's going to be standard way of starting with the first one and go all the way. Now, for the first one, so we have a sum, sort of both there, guys. K equal to 5, and then we have a K5, 6 to 8, that's the last time, and then K over 2, and then X, K minus 2. Now we go. When K equal to 5 means here, I'm going to substitute K equal to 5, so it's going to be 5 over 2. So this, let me say 5, because K5 over 2 over 2 x is x now we go 5 minus 2 equal to 3 3 which is this same with that so why do I plus because this meaning sum now we go k equal to 6 so it's going to be 6 divided by 2 equal to 3 and then x 6 minus 2 equal to 3 6 minus 2 equal to 4 excuse me good 4 now we go for the last one for the last one it's going to be plus no it's not the last one I'm wrong so that was uh, 6 right so we go for 7 so when k equal to 7 means it's going to be 7 over 2, 7 over 2, now x is x. You know what I'm saying? Now 7, because k equal to 7, 7 minus 2 equal to 5. Even this is true. Now we move to the next one. We plus. What we plus? Because the meaning of that is plus. So now go k equal to 8. So this is going to be uh, 8 divided by 2 equal to 4. Now we go x is x. 8 minus 2 equal to 6. Okay, so this seems to be true. The first option is true. But let's just continue because we cannot guarantee like, okay, this is a final answer. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it pending. Let's continue and let's take the last one. So let's see. 5 over 2, x3. Yes, 5 over 2, x3. 
yes 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 it's true now let's take uh, the second one let's see the second one no let's take the yeah let's take the second one so the first one seems like it gives the true answer you know what I'm saying now let's take the second one because I want to go inside with Next, I'm sweating, it's very hot. Sorry about that, guys, just a second. Okay, cool. Now we go, uh, the second one, this one here. So we, when k equal to 1, so it's going to be 1 plus 4 equal to 5. Okay, and then 5 over, because this k equal to 1. 1 plus 5 equal to 5 over 2, and then x, x. Now we go, k, what is k? K equal to 1. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2 equal to 3. 3. Now, we say plus. What we add? Because there's a summation here. You see what I'm saying? There's a summation. Now, we go K equal to 2. So if this is 2, it's going to be 2 plus 4 equal to 6. 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. You have X, you have X. Now, K equal to 1. K equal to 2 now. 2 plus 2 equal to 4. So we go plus. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to test this and then I'll tell you like either this is the best way starting from here to the back or we should start from that side I mean the, uh, the given expression then we go down Now, when k equal to, uh, this k equal to 2, right? k equal to 3 now 3 plus 4 equal to 7 go 7 and then x, x and then seven, uh, 3 plus 2 equal to 5 plus so it seems like all of them they give the same thing so now but let's continue and then I'll show you why, guys. You know, I'll show you why and why we should use the method or not. Now, we go k equal to uh, k equal to 3 because that was 1, 2, 3, 3. 3 plus 4 equal to 7 over 2 and then x. 3 plus that one equal to 5. It seems like true also. Now we go for the next one. When k equal to 4, 4 plus 4 equal to 8, it's really equal to 4. Because 8 divided by 2 equal to 4 and then we got x and then 4 plus equal to 6. So even this one given the final answer, which is right. Now let's go for the last one. And then after that, you're going to say, oh, you know what? I need to use now extra brain and see. You know, I'm trying to do now like you're the one now writing an exam, okay? Okay, now we say, okay, even this one give it the same thing because x plus 6, and then this is 7 over 2. x plus 5, and this is 7 over 2. x plus 4, okay. So this one also give it the same thing. You see what I'm saying? Now. Now we go for uh, the last one. The last one is going to be k equal to 3. We start from 3. 3 plus 3 equal to 5. And then we have over 2. x is x. Okay. We say 3. So this is power 3, which is the same as that. So plus is plus. So now we go for 3, uh, 4. Because we have to increase. We add because this is sum. We add now because of this summation notation. Now we go x equal to k equal to 4. 4 plus 2 equal to um, 6. 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. And then we have an x, we have an x, and this is say equals 4, 4, 4, and then divide by 2. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry. 4, 4 plus this equals 3, 3 divided by 2, 3 over 2. x, x, k equals 4, k equals 4. So we plus now, we continue. Now we k equals 5, so it's going to be 5 plus equals 7. So x power, uh, no, 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 7. 5 plus equals 7. And then x, okay, 5 is going to be x power 5, which is the same as that. Now plus the last one. So the last one is going to be 6. 6 plus 2 equal to 8. 8 divided by 2 equal to 4. X. Okay, now we go 6. 6. Okay, this is going to be. Hold on. K to, uh, 6. 6 plus 2 equal to 8. 8 over 2 equal to 4. Yes, and then X. X for 6. Which is the same thing. So now the question is like, which one are we going to take? Because they say, which is true? The second one? Third one? 1 and 2? One, two, and three. So the last option, this is one, two, and three, the last one. One, two, and three. So we're going to say, okay. So this is true here, one, two, and three. Option three is our final answer is true. So any of these, it could give us this expression. You see what I'm saying? So I'll say one, two, and three, the right answer. Easy. It's just a waste of time. Are you doing this question? It is easy like that, man. Thanks a lot. You know what I'm saying? Look, man, I believe in learning from how to do things. If it's time, make sure you subscribe and, you know, you can just go and do donation to our Patreon page. I have a Patreon. I have a GoFundMe. You know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, 
any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change and thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe, don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people, you know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can, okay? It's not only for one patient or two, because you might think it's not helpful for you, but for somebody next out there, it could be very, very helpful. So thanks a lot, man, and you know, any donation that you did to me, it means so much. I appreciate man. It means a lot. Go to our Patreon page. Go to our uh, GoFundMe because we need to have a, you know, a lot of things we need to put them together like camera, you know, and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on, you know, a lot of angle, a lot of aspects of these projects, you know. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate and I love you. Peace and love. Bye. You know, this is one of my children of knowledge, you know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. Yeah. I have two sons in primary school. Yeah, I'm trying to abide to you. I'm trying to abide to you. I'm trying to abide to everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is my other son. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew, yeah. He's grade 11, man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua. Well, how much you promise me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Yeah, so I'm trying to buy just everywhere, man. I'm trying to buy you. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to buy you everywhere. Exactly. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. You have to give advice, man. Which advice would you give uh, to the people or to the city? Trust damage. <laughs> why, why would it trust me? No, because it's really good. They actually has helped a lot. Uh, first, and I redid first year for maths with my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Hamish said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like, just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish. Thank you, and um, wish you all the best with your hard work. And just, I just wanna say we appreciate you. And uh, we have, I have achieved like 93 percent. Samunani, Samunani, Samunani. This is Uema Onokula Wamkizis Mongo. I live in Devon in KwaZulu Natal and I was born in Kwasabisa in KwaZulu Natal. Hello everyone, this is Uketele Numvalo from A. Johannesburg Emitrin. I'm studying through E. I would like to thank o Mr. Hamish for helping us so, so much. We have actually got 90 to 100% on that. Thank you so much, Mr. Hamish Siabong.